As soon as we returned home with Loki, Emma welcomed us in our yard, as she usually does. However, this time she was really surprised by the newcomer who arrived with us. Many would say that this kind of introduction is a mistake, and perhaps you are right, but in our case, it was not a problem, as you will see later. From the moment I opened the transporter, Loki started behaving like he had lived here his whole life. He immediately began exploring the new surroundings and soon started playing freely. Our current apartment has two rooms, so we couldn't place him in a separate room. If you're wondering why, it's because the bedroom is usually off limits for our cats. But as many of you who have been with us since the beginning know, I have allergies and I'm also allergic to cats, so I need a clean place to sleep. You might be wondering why I have cats even though I'm allergic. The truth is, my allergy suddenly appeared, and we already had Emma and Munya. The trigger for this was probably a stressful period in my life, as stress can have negative effects on our health. However, I've learned to live with my allergy and our cats, and I wouldn't change my decision to keep them with me for anything in the world. Of course, initially, Emma wasn't happy with Loki being in the house. But soon her curiosity prevails. And she started getting closer and closer to him. At the beginning, we decided to hide Loki with pillows when he sleeps so that Emma would lose focus on him and behave naturally when she's in the house. During that time, we showed Emma a lot of love and let her feel comfortable with Loki's scent in the house. Of course we entertained Loki at the same time. We also entertained her with plenty of playtime, and constantly tried to get her to play closer and closer to him without seeing him. Our goal was to associate the feeling of Joe while playing, without focusing on his scent, making her comfortable in his presence. We also started giving Emma Zilkeen pills for cats, which I mentioned in our video about cat depression.
when we realized she wasn't bothered by his scent anymore, we stopped using pillows so that she could see him too. Of course, she always had the option to see him from her cat tower, where she feels safe. Then we allowed them to interact with each other, but with constant supervision. At the beginning, there was a lot of hissing from Emma's side. I prioritized their safety over making a video, so we didn't capture those moments when there was a risk of them starting to fight. My hands must be free to separate them in that case. Fortunately, those situations did not occur, because when Emma felt that there is too much tension between them, she would move away from him. This was the moment when they started getting closer to each other without any problems. Of course, it was still with great caution that they knew to touch each other with their noses, and usually, Emma would signal that she had enough by hissing at him. We kept the cat tower as Emma's safe place but allowed Loki, at beginning, to be in lower positions. At the beginning, they ate on different sides of the room, but with each meal we got Loki's bowl closer and closer to her. The next step was to play with both at the same time, redirecting their focus to the game rather than each other. were already signs of what was to come, but at the time, I didn't see it that way because he always backed away when she turned to him. I left this part of video on purpose, just so you can see that I don't want to film a dangerous situation, and people who do it just for views and likes should be ashamed of themselves. Their playtime was more and more looked like they already make a bond with each other. However, after this beautiful moment, when I was already sure they had fully bonded, Loki started becoming more aggressive towards Emma. It began as a game, but Emma's hissing no longer kept him away, as it did before. She would try to run away from him, but he would chase her and jump on her. There were situations where she made noses that Cat makes when they are fighting for real, and even that didn't deter him. Of course, we intervene every time, but sometimes he was so fast that we couldn't prevent him from attacking her in the first place. I don't have any videos of those moments, as I've mentioned before, my priority is their safety, not recording in those situations. I'm doing my best to protect them both. Additionally, he started climbing onto her cat tower, so we had to prevent that, as she needs a safe place to escape from him. We also installed a fence between the living room and corridor, so we can confine him there when we are at work, allowing Emma to maintain her routine of going out and coming into the house without interruption.
Of course this is filled with toast when he is here. Also he has access to plenty of food water and his litter box. I will consider this the end of the first part. As I hope to soon create another video showing you Emma and Loki cuddling each other. Thanks for watching and for all support.